from a desire to reunite with some old friends on set to a shift to the small screen. Here is why Arnold Schwarzenegger wants to join the Yellowstone franchise. Despite being in his mid-70s, Arnie absolutely will not stop. After going from bodybuilder to action legend to the governor of California, the iconic Hollywood star is now eyeing the small screen, specifically the world of Yellowstone. In the most recent edition of his newsletter, in which he talks about his career and answers questions from his fans, the Terminator star revealed that he has been enjoying a lot of Yellowstone recently. So much so, in fact, he actually felt the TV series filled his slot for his favorite movie. Yellowstone, he wrote, I know this is not a movie, but I have been getting much more into watching TV shows with my new Netflix show starting soon. I love this show. It is fantastic. The neo-western series was created by Taylor Sheridan and centers around the fictional Dutton family. The Duttons are the owners of the largest ranch in Montana, which borders Yellowstone National Park, as well as a Native American reservation. The series is led by another Hollywood veteran, Kevin Costner, which is about to enter its fifth and final season. In a recent interview to promote his upcoming Netflix series, FUBAR, Arnie was asked if he wanted to work with Sheridan to appear in Yellowstone. He responded with so much enthusiasm, he didn't miss a beat. Absolutely, I think he's very talented, and the cast on Yellowstone is phenomenal. Now, since Kevin Costner has recently announced his exit from the show, it has been confirmed that Yellowstone's fifth season will be the series' last. So while it doesn't seem likely that Arnie will appear in the main series, Yellowstone has already spun off into a load of different prequel and sequel series which might give him the opportunity to appear. In fact, these series have already pulled in some of Arnie's fellow Hollywood heavy hitters. The prequel series, 1923, stars Harrison Ford and Helen Mirren, and an upcoming sequel series led by Matthew McConaughey is also in development. It wouldn't be surprising to see Arnie appear in one of these series, even just in a guest star role. I mean, he wants in, so nothing is out of the question. 1923 also sees Arnie's T2 co-star, Robert Patrick, appear as Sheriff William McDowell. So maybe there's an opportunity for Arnie and the T-1000 to share the screen again. With Patrick as a sheriff, maybe Arnie could play a criminal so they could go head to head, just like in the old days. I think it would be pretty cool to see. The upcoming Four Sixes could also be the perfect chance for Arnie to join the Yellowstone franchise. Seeing as the show will be set in Texas and follows an entirely new set of characters, it would be a great opportunity for Arnie to hitch his wagon to the world of Yellowstone without having to worry so much about the Dutton name. Not that the show creators would try and convince us that the Austrian Oak was a native Texan anyway. Now, not all of Sheridan's shows are in the Yellowverse, of course. MCU star Jeremy Renner is finding a lot of success in Mayor of Kingstown, another Sheridan creation which is already in its second season. In fact, Arnie's longtime friend and action movie rival, Sylvester Stallone, currently stars in Sheridan's Tulsa King. It could be another great opportunity to pit Stallone and Arnie against each other, or to even get them to work side by side. Although it seems pretty clear that Arnie is specifically interested in the Western-style shows like Yellowstone and its offshoots, I wouldn't put it past him to appear in a crime drama like Tulsa King, especially if it means he gets to work with his old friend Stallone. I mean, just picture it. I'm sure the two would have just amazing chemistry. It's probably Stallone's role in Tulsa King that put Sheridan on Arnie's radar in the first place. Recently, Arnie has admitted to watching more of his rival's stuff than he did back in the 80s. Today, I see much more of other people's performances than I did in the 80s when I was only seeing myself. I was thinking, I have to win. It was a competition against Sly, against others. I have to be number one. So maybe his competitive spirit has cooled off a bit in his older years, and perhaps this hints that he and Sly might be able to share the screen. Stallone is already slated to star in another Sheridan project, Kansas City, which sounds pretty similar to Tulsa King, if I'm being honest. The show is set to star Stallone as a legendary New York mobster, Sal, who is forced to relocate to the most unlikely of places, Kansas City, Missouri. Oh well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just another opportunity to get Stallone and Arnie on set together. Any of these shows would be a great opportunity for Arnie to appear, but it's also entirely possible he could get a series made just for him. I mean, someone with Arnie's clout is probably going to be in the show as much as he wants to be. If he wants to helm a series, I'm sure Sheridan will make it happen.
Sheridan seems to be going from strength to strength in recent years, creating nine successful TV series since 2018, which is absolutely insane. I reckon if Arnie is keen to throw his cowboy hat in the ring, it wouldn't be surprising to see that number hit double digits sometime soon. Now Sheridan has yet to officially respond to Arnie's desire to work together, but it's hard to imagine that will be the case forever, right? I mean, when Arnie comes knocking at your door, you answer it. Sheridan has definitely done a good job of creating an expansive world and history in the Yellowverse. I mean, the Duttons have been riding around Montana for over a century. It gives the writers a lot of room to explore different generations and time periods. The sky really is the limit, and that gives them all the opportunity in the world to get Arnie in the saddle. Sequel or prequel, it doesn't matter. Just put this man in a show already. The only real issue is that Arnie's voice is just so iconic specifically his accent. I can imagine it being a little tricky to work him into such a Western setting without it being a little jarring. Well, I mean, more jarring than it would be to have him there at all. I guess it kind of just comes with the territory of putting Arnie in your stuff, right? You put him there because he's Arnie, not because he is going to convincingly play an American rancher. Still, I can't imagine Sheridan passing up the opportunity to work with a living Hollywood legend especially when he's coming to you. I mean, can there really be a better compliment than a legend like Arnie wanting to work with you? That would be like Michael Jordan wanting to shoot hoops, or Jimi Hendrix asking to come and jam with your band. It's too good an opportunity to pass up. Hopefully Sheridan will run with it and find a way to work Arnie into the Yellowverse, or into any other Sheridan series for that matter. So while Arnie's declaration that he is interested in joining the world of Yellowstone has definitely perked up the ears of fans, it seems like we will have to settle for his upcoming series FUBAR, at least for the time being. The series is an upcoming action comedy where Arnie stars alongside Monica Barbaro. The two play a father and daughter who have lied to each other for years, since neither of them know that the other is a CIA operative. Once they both learn the truth, they realize they don't actually know anything about each other. The series also stars Jay Baruchel, Aparna Brielle, and Gabriel Luna, and is set to drop in very soon. So while it looks like the tone of FUBAR is going to be pretty different to the shows created by Sheridan, it will definitely be interesting to see how Arnie goes on the small screen. Maybe if the show is a success, it might help convince Sheridan to collaborate with Arnie. Not that he should really need that much convincing. So there you have it. From a shift to the small screen, to a desire to reunite with some old friends on set, that was why Arnold Schwarzenegger wants to join the Yellowstone franchise. 